from Sagar Institute of Research and Technology. Today, I am taking first order system analysis on MATLAB. First order system means the system which is having the highest order of S in the denominator equal to 1. So, the such type of system is called first order system. As you can see here, this is the control system. RS is the input, YS is output. 1 by tau S is the transfer function of the forward path and 1 is the transfer function of the feedback path. Or you can say the unity feedback is provided here. This is the unity feedback. Now calculate the, the transfer function. So transfer function is the ratio of output divided by input. That is YS upon RS. So this is equal to 1 by tau S plus 1 where tau is the system time constant. And this characterizes the speed of the responses of a system to an input. Higher the time constant, slower the response. And uh, if the time constant is less, that response will be high. The speed of the response will be high. Now, uh, for the analysis of the uh, systems, uh, different uh, time functions are provided, like unit step function, impulse function and uh, RAM function. So these inputs are provided. If impulse function is given as input here, then the output is called impulse response. If unit step function is given at input, then output is called unit step, uh, step response. So see, uh, if impulse input is given, so what is impulse input? Impulse uh, is equal to one or more than this or equal to infinity at only at t equal to zero. Otherwise, the value of this function is equal to zero for t greater than zero for t less than zero. So this red line is showing the impulse function. If this impulse input is given to the first order system, then the output of the system is uh, high, like here it is shown in blue and black color graph, but after t equal to 0, this output is going to 0, uh, since here the input is also equal to 0. So this is this blue line and black line, this blue graph and black graph is called impulse response or output of the system if the impulse input is given. Now, if the step input is given, as you can see here, this red line, this red line is showing the unit step function. Now, what is unit step function? This unit step function is denoted by ut. It is equal to 1 for t equal to 0 and for t greater than 0. For all the values of t equal to 0 and greater than 0, for all the values of t, the unit step function value is equal to 1, which is denoted by this red line. So, if this input is given to this unit this uh, first order system here, if unit step input is given, the output will be increases slowly. As you can see, the output increases slowly, but it reaches to steady state after some time. So as we have already discussed, uh, lesser the value of time constant, the speed of the response will be higher. So uh, the tau, uh, as uh, here that value of tau is less than here the value of uh, tau. So here the value of tau is less as compared to the value of tau here in for this blue graph. So with the given, if the unit step function is given, the output will be increases slowly and reaches to value of 1. Now see the program for this, if I want to draw on the MATLAB, here you can see. The TF is the function which is uh, uh, showing the transfer function, if I want to write the transfer function, then this TF function can be used. Now, within parenthesis, write the coefficients of numerator and denominator. First, write the coefficient of numerator and then write the coefficient of denominator. So, this 10 is showing the coefficient of numerator and 1 space 10 is showing the coefficient of the denominator. So, this function will give, this command will give the transfer function of the system. Now calculate the value of the step since I want to draw the step response here. So I can write step within parenthesis, write the variable of transfer function. Here the variable of transfer function is A. So I wrote here A. X is written here uh, as a variable. You can write here any value A, B, C, D. So X equal to step A will calculate the step value for this transfer function. Then do the plotting of this transfer function and do the X labeling and Y labeling. 
Similarly, if the uh, impulse input is given, then the impulse response can also be drawn on with the help of the MATLAB. So the command is impulse here. First of all, write the transfer function and then write x equal to impulse within parenthesis, the variable of the transfer function, which is a here. Then do the plotting and labeling. Now, I want to start to share the MATLAB. I want to do these values here on MATLAB online. So this is the MATLAB online here. We can write the we can write the uh, commands for plotting of step impulse and impulse response. See here, I wrote a equal to tf ten and the coefficient of numerator and coefficient of denominator. So I wrote here. Now you can see here, a equal to 10 upon s plus 10. So you can see here, this uh, command has given the uh, transfer function of first order system where the value of s is 1. Highest value of s in the denominator is 1. So this is the first order system. Now I want to write the command for calculation of a step response. Right. So I'm writing here see x equal to step within parenthesis a. So I wrote here the step for this uh, for the calculation of step response the step command is used. See, this is going to do the calculation. Now here the step response values are calculated. Now I want to draw the plot for step response. So I'm uh, using subplot command. I'm writing here 1 comma 2. So this 1 is showing the 1 row and 2 is showing the 2 columns. Now at 1, at number 1, I want to draw this response that is step response plot. What I want to plot, I want to plot the step response. So that's why I'm writing the variable x here. Close the parenthesis. Now enter the here. Now you can see here. This will plot the command. Yeah, now here the command, the plot is coming. So you can see here, this is a step response for the trans first order transfer function. So I want to draw this graph in red color with the help of the stars i can write i can draw in that manner also so i'm writing here plot in the plot command write x comma within parenthesis write r and star that is the graph will be drawn in red color with the help of the star now this uh, i want to draw this so you can see here now the graph has drawn with the help of red color and uh, the graph color is red and this graph is drawn with the help of the stars. Okay. Now you can give the um, uh, title X label and Y label. You can label the X axis and Y axis. First of all, I want to give the title. So click here title. So you can see here now the cursor is blinking. So now write the uh, title, let it be step response versus time. Now here the title has been given, step response versus time. Now for the labeling of Y axis, click here. Now here the cursor is blinking for labeling of Y axis. Now write, to, let it be step response. Enter. Now this here you can see the y axis has been labeled. Now click on the x label here and uh, this will provide the opportunity you to label the x axis. Now here you can see the cursor is blinking. Now write the 
uh, write whatever you want to write. Let it be time. I'm writing here time now to enter. Now you can see the X axis is labeled, Y axis is labeled and the title uh, is also given here for this graph. Now I want to write the, uh, I want to draw the impulse response here. So again, I'm taking the same transfer function for, for the same transfer function. I want to draw the impulse response for this. The impulse response is required to calculate. So write, let it be y equal to impulse. Impulse is the function with the help of which we can calculate the value for the impulse response. That is for the uh, system where the impulse input is given for this particular transfer function of the system. Now write impulse uh, here within parenthesis, write the variable of the transfer function. The variable of the transfer function is A, which we have already taken here, right? So write the semicolon. Now this command will do the calculation for the impulse response. Now I want to plot this response here, like I want to plot this subplot one comma, Two, that is one row, two column. Now I want to draw this response here on the second place. Now plot y. That is uh, the y is what? Y is the impulse response. Now I want to write this. I want to draw this with the help of magenta color. So I wrote m here. Now see. The command is draw, is executed. Now see here. Yes. Now you can see here the impulse response has been drawn, which we have already discussed in PPT. Now do the labeling, give the title, X label and Y label. First of all, I am giving here title for this. So I am going to click here. Yes. Now I want to give impulse response versus time enter okay now do the x labeling and y labeling first i want to do the y labeling here now click here so i can write here impulse response now enter so you can see here y-axis has been uh, labeled. Now click on the X label command. Yeah, click here. Now write here time. I want to write here time. Now see, the, you can see here uh, two graphs, step response and impulse response. So if the... Uh, Unit step function is given to the first order system. This will be the output or this will be the step response of the first order system. If uh, impulse input is given to the first order system, the output will be somewhat like this or impulse response somewhat like this for the first order system. So this completes this lecture. Thank you.